Hi everyone, it's Gal again. So now after you learn a bit about um, HubSpot Services Hub and all the different features that you can choose from, and of course you compare between HubSpot and Zendesk, now it's time for you to see a live demo and all the features that you can have from HubSpot. So in order to do that, you're connecting to your HubSpot and then navigating into services. So the Services Hub contain all different kinds of features. The one of them is the tickets, that is hardcore services, is relevant for you. So the entire pipeline can be shown up as a board or table as compared to what is uh, relevant or more easy for you. But the, the board one is a really easy drag and drop, so you can move it um, in the different stages of the pipeline. Um, and this is for the open tickets that I have in the pipeline. In order to create a new one, basically I can click on create ticket, fill out the different fields that I have here. Of course, each and every one of them is um, customable. So you can change and recreate all the fields and move it and have all the information that you and your company need and not something that it's generic or something that you're not looking to to collect so once you fill out all the different um, fields you can connect the ticket to a specific company and of course to a specific contact because this ticket is related to a specific contact who asked for it once you create it an orange button will open to say create you click on it and it will create you a new uh, ticket on the system. Once you create a new one or edit an existing one, you can come into the ticket and see all different kinds of properties that you have by clicking on view all properties. You can see different kinds of activities, notes, emails, phone calls that you can do and connect your phone number into the system and record all the calls. Yes, this is something that's going to be amazing for you because you can analyze every call that you have and understand the complexity or the pushback that you get from the clients and understand better what he said and what he needs. More than that, you can open the tasks that's relevant. You can say for yourself, I need to do something, uh, make a phone call, email, or even for yourself to check something and Beside put it in your calendar, this task is make sure that you're really going to remember it because on the day of the task going to be out of due, it will send you a notification to remind you that this is something that you need to accomplish. Once, of course, you'll do that, um, this task will put in the history and you can, of course, um, check all the information and analyze it. Um, on the right hand side you can see contacts companies that related to it of course if it's specific to deal you can add it in here too you can add attachments for example they send you screenshots of a problem with their system or problem with their app or everything that they can send you um, maybe it's a quote or something that you send them you can upload it into here also you can have playbook that you can guide your team to use according to different um, scenarios. But support is not only for ticketing. You can have all kinds of features. For example, feedback, uh, feedback survey, which is basically you can send to your client and get a better trust and a better understanding how they look at your company and your product. So you can create a new survey from customer support customer satisfaction and customer loyalty, a different kind of answer and send it to them directly through here via email. And basically you can analyze it according to who answer what or um, according to statistic. Um, what is the average uh, answer for each and every question? And in this way, you can understand the way of your clients is looking at you. Beside that, you have the knowledge base, which is pretty much everything that you need from HubSpot um, and your company to send to your clients. Basically, you can create articles, 
um, specific information and content that is relevant through your system, through your client and support team. Um, basically, it can be um, anything that you want to share with them. And this is the place for you to connect it through emails and send it to them and see uh, the average time on the article people are looking um, from views to times and it gives you like a short way to analyze the information and of course you, this is the insight you can see just the articles um, you can see the different stages if it's uh, it's published or it's in, just in draft and you can need to still uh, update it but HubSpot is a lot of features and of course we can show you um, most of them but it will never cover 100% of the things but you need to remember HubSpot can give you a lot don't just the CRM that you can collect information not just about the ticket or about the specific um, information that they come and ask you and questions or something like that you can collect a real information about the account app. For example, the country, the company that they came from, a city, uh, a specific question that you want to ask and create these fields in the system. And according to that, you can create reports to see if this is something um, that come back every few months or even if it's something that uh, you can see from different clients and analyze maybe your service or your product. More than that, and in, Today's world, a lot of companies are given a good customer support to build trust, to build engagement, to build um, another place for your customers to come and ask questions. And in order to do that, you can create a live chat in your own website. Yes, you don't need to use a different system. You can use HubSpot. HubSpot can do that. You can use a chatbot, which is um, just a few questions, and according to their answer, you're popping a new questions, and basically you can move them to different pages or, or to send them an email later on with the, with the request, or even you can have a live chat with them, which is basically you give a um, few people from your company to sit in front of the computer and communicate with people answer the question in real time. This could be do the entire change from a good customer service to an excellent one. Because a companies that have a live chat, basically customers know that they come and ask whatever they want, consult, or even, you know, make a, another sell because it's available for them. And it's build another uh, layout for trust. So in order to do that, you're going into conversation. You have the inbox where you can keep all the communication with these people. But in order to create a live chat and um, a, a chatbot, you can do it through HubSpot uh, con communication conversions. Um, and basically, here you can see the live chat. People are coming. Uh, and ask questions and I can reply on real time, for example, different kind of information. And if you want to just build, you can see if it was in a bot or an email, something that the, the chat, the, the live chat wasn't live on the same time. So they send an email and somebody will uh, get back to them with the information. And it's very simple. It's entire drag and drop to build one and of course you don't need to just put it in your website you can put it in facebook messenger as well so it will give you all the different options it's very simple and it's very nice and it give an added value to your customers so basically after that we covered the different feature and different tools that you're getting through hubspot support and basically not just that you can now consider hubspot as your main tool and not even just because of that HubSpot is giving you a full place to report and analyze all the information that you need in order to succeed you can create reports according to a specific contacts that came from countries or companies you can create a specific uh, about tickets product activities deals everything that you have in mind so this is the time for you to make the extra effort and succeed. 
So good luck and see you on our next workshop. Bye.